But when you got the script, what was intriguing to you about doing this role? Because each of you are so like intense. Well, I I love a part that has a father son dynamic, and this may be because I never really had a father in my life. So exploring father son dynamics, especially ones with where there's such a, a deep and wide rift between the father and the son that the father has to make up for, is extremely interesting to me. So, and 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 also watching the writers develop Virgil's character, which in the book is is you know is barely in the book, but the writers have done a tremendous job of showing a, a three dimensional human being, you know, not just a village Lothario, not just a small time criminal, but a a guy who you know has a complex relationship with his wife, his ex wife, his his son, with the world, um, and that's intriguing to me. I think what was um really exciting was seeing Billy with a clean slate and not being tied to his burdens of the end of season one and why he was in prison. And I think that was really exciting to see kind of this new energy and, and the rehabilitation he was going through and kind of him being happier. And then the transition from that into the, the mental toll that the PTSD had on him and the recovery had on him from being in prison and how that starts to take over and, and kind of lead him down a darker path. Well, what I love about your performance is both of you, there's so many tones in that, so many emotional tones. And with Virgil, I could never know what's next, you know, which is really great. Where do you dig in your place to get those moments? Because especially for you, Alex, there are moments when you're on screen and like your eyes just pull people in. I, I can feel your pain. I can feel all of it. Tell me a little bit about how that process works for you guys as actors and bringing that to what we see and what we feel. So, well, for me, it's about you, you do your homework, uh, you you learn your character, and then you, you leave whatever happens uh, up to the moment. And you'll often be surprised if you do your homework well and the other person is working with you well, what it can pull out of you. And one scene that particularly gets me is, I might even start crying when I'm thinking about it now, but when uh, when um, when Billy has a, a total meltdown in that bar and we bring him home, um, a, lot of, a lot of things I didn't expect to happen to me happened to me watching my son have a mental breakdown when we pour him into the bed and, and he's talking to himself and he starts crying. Ugh. I'm, I'm I'm feeling it right now. It just it hit me really hard, and I didn't expect that. And that comes from well, it comes from good writing. It comes from making situations unavoidable for the actor. He has to confront them, and from just somebody working very well and being open to what they're doing. Alex, you're amazing. I know we only have two minutes left, but in that time frame, can you share with me what was your process? What did you come away with, Alex, doing this project on a personal note? And you're like, oh, my God, I learned this. What was that? If it was one thing, what would that be for you? Well, I think the the challenge for me, actually, when I first did the project was <clears throat> feeling like Billy, like getting to the size, like the physical size, because I'm not a I, I was not the specimen that he's described as in the book. And I think that was something that I really had to push through and overcome to feel connected to the character. And I think I think something I really learned is is how important the physical aspect is for me to get uh really connected with the character and then yeah and then also just being vulnerable and being open to how good the writing is and um and and being as present as possible when working well guys like i said great job i can keep watching you all the time so congratulations great series thanks, thanks so much, so much.